All right, Homesteader family, welcome back to the journey. I know on the Sunday, Monday vlog, the stove filled up with smoke and didn't know what was going on. I've never had a newer stove. Uh, I've always used old cast iron uh, Fisher wood stoves. And uh, in these new stoves, right above the door in the ceiling, there's a white board called a, uh, a waffle or waffle or something like that, baffle, a uh, fire baffle. And um, I guess during shipping, it shifted and moved to the front. It's supposed to be all the way against the back wall. And that's so all the heat and flames that come up don't go straight into the chimney and burn out your chimney. It's supposed to bring the heat forward, come up in between the baffle and the top of the wood stove, go across the top plate and then up the uh, stove pipe. So because that was pushed to the front, all that smoke was whiffing to the front because uh, inside the stove it's actually angled coming up uh, as you come towards the glass from the back. Uh, so it uh, vents that way eas easier than uh, going up to the back the way it was. So a bunch of smoke was coming to the front and that's what killed it. Also, I figured out the exhaust um, damper thing here. If it's pushed in, it's all the way down. If it's pulled out, it's wide open. I figured that was gonna be opposite. So, you know, you push it in and then pull it out to help make it draw. So that was the issue with the US wood stove. This is what I got from Tractor Supply. It's rated for 2,500 square feet. So this is the first burn of the year here in St. Joe, Arkansas. It's cool enough outside that I can just do the first fire to get things going because with everything going on in the world, it's better to have the stove ready to go and figure out these issues now than uh, not have an internet or something like that where I could figure out what was wrong with the stove and go from there because there was nothing in the wood stove manual about the baffle where the baffle needs to be. So if you buy a wood stove, a newer technology one, make sure you figure that one out. And now is the time to get your stove started. Also, you can see I zip tied a box fan on top of the step stool here so it pushes all the smoke out. So that way if you have a smoky house, you can see in here it's not smoky. Uh, it blows all the smoke right out of a door or window. That is another reason why I put the door right here this way. So the door went that way because I knew I would have smoke coming this way. If I had the door open the other way, it would have blocked the smoke. I had thought this all through uh, prior. And then, like I said, behind the uh, door, once the step stool's out the way, then I'll stack all my wood here against this uh, shelving unit. And then, of course, that's Minnie's uh, nesting box area that she's in now. So we have a wood stove going. We have a nice little fire going. It's coming down to coals now. And uh, we'll be starting fireside chats later on in the next uh, coming month or so once it gets cold enough to actually have this um, going. It's not cold enough outside to actually have the stove going, but it's below 70 degrees, so it's cool enough to... Uh, let cold air in while the wood stove does its thing. So I hope this helps anybody that has an issue like I had. Uh, once again, there's a white baffle inside uh, above the door in the ceiling of the wood stove. It's supposed to be pushed to the back, not bumped up to the front. So in shipping, it can change. And uh, like I said, the knob down here, you want to pull it all the way out for the most uh, venting push it in for the slow burn. So a little backwards for me, but we got it under control and we now have a wood stove ready to go. And I have a tea kettle. I'll be able to boil water this winter and uh, just gotta get the rocking chair. So I hope everybody has a great day. I'll talk to you guys later.